Okay, in this video, let's use our knowledge of IFTTT to send a notification whenever the Raspberry Pi switches on. So, and for that, the code is pretty simple. This is the curl, curl command that you get from IFTTT. You just copy and put it in a shell script, um, and you save that. And then, you just, since I have programmed primarily in Python, so what I've done is this: that after 15 seconds, this script will be executed, right? Just three lines of code, nothing much. And the reason f f for that 15 seconds is because we are gonna put this in the uh, startup uh, startup file, and uh, it takes a. Uh, I have noticed that you know if you just do it without the time gap, it uh, there is no time for the internet. It doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi and. Um, this command does this does nothing because what this command does it sort of sends a post cam uh, it, it sends a post request via the web and you get a notification on the phone so you need that sort of a 15 second buffer time in order to connect the Wi-Fi and then um, execute it properly and that's what I've noticed and it might if there is an efficient way please please do let me know but uh, now you go to the e slash etc slash rc dot local on their pi and um, add this command python home pi notify dot pi not notify dot pi which is just the notification program and that's about it that's that's that that's really that simple to send a notification and you sort of save it bam that's all now let's take a look at what actually happens a live demo So I have with me my Raspberry Pi and my phone over here and I've restarted it, I've rebooted my Raspberry Pi right now and I'm currently waiting for the notification um, that is to be sent by, uh, from the Raspberry Pi via IFTTT onto my phone. So hopefully it works. It does take a while because of the 15 second buffer, right? So, um, mm -hmm. aha, so now we have our notification that the Raspberry Pi has been turned on. It works! So, three lines of code. Every time the Raspberry Pi switches on, you'll be getting a notification on your phone. That's about it. Bye-bye.